to football action. We are all set to get underway. The opening kickoff of the game between Notre and Glenbrook North. Big test for both these teams. Glenbrook North is coming into tonight's game with a record of uh, two and one. Or two, uh, three and all, rather. And Nutria with a regular two and one. Out of bounds at about the uh, 29 yard line. And the Treviots, I think, will take over right there at the 35. Yep, the 35. The Treviots will take over. Matt Lodic on. The Nutria Treviots. And come off two relatively easy victories against the Main West Warriors and the Niles North Vikings after that uh, big defeat to Libertyville. So this is a must-win game, in a sense, for the Trevians if they have any playoff hope. Matt Lodick, hands off. Big hole. Good yardage for Paul. Or Paul picks up about five or six. And Wadick back to pass, rolls over to the left, takes it himself, goes out of bounds, just about at the first yard, first down marker. Goes to the first down. I don't think he got it. No, he's a yard short. Half yard short. Short of the first down, bring up third down and a short one. Third and one. Third and one for the Trevians. At the 44 yard line, Wadick with the keeper. Gets the first down. First and ten for the Trevs at their own 49-yard line. Just underway, first quarter, no score. First drive of the game. Devin head off to Gary. Gary finds a hole. He's off to the races to the near side. 30. 20, 10, 5, touchdown, Nutrier. Tom Gary, a 51-yard touchdown run. Lynch, the kick is up, and it is good. And the Nutrier Trumpians lead 7-0. There's the kickoff. Deep. Taken by Brent. T finds a seam. 40. Still on his feet. And finally brought down at about the 48-yard line. Sean Brent with a nice run back. And Bobby Teton finally able to wrestle him down. First and 10 for the Glenbrook North Spartans. Glenbrook North, it's been a long time for them. They've had, uh, it's been few and far between. Believe it or not, at one time they were a football powerhouse. But uh, they've fallen on lean and hard times here in the last uh, couple of years. Glenbrook North chosen to win the Central Suburban North Division as the favorite. The handoff to Brandt. He tries to cut to the outside. Got about two yards. And maybe got to midfield. He did get right to midfield. Second down. Eight yards to go. Yeah, that's a long eight. 
New Trier Travians. And the Leverick North Spartans. Next year, there are only going to be two crossover games, as I understand it, instead of the three that we had this year. Back to pass. Hogus throws. Incomplete. Intended for Velocerus over on the far side. It was intended for Velocerus. And it is second down, or third down, make it, for the Spartans here. Spread to the two sides. Spread to the near side, Melisaris. Hand off inside, nowhere. Tommy Curie comes in out of the back. Comes in. Take him down. On the little razzle-dazzle. They'll have to kick it away. Low snap, the kick away. And the Trevians will let it bounce. Inside the 20 to about the 16-yard line, and that's where the new trailer Trevians will take over. From the wrong 16-yard line. First and 10 for the Trevians from the 16, Matt Waddick at the quarterback. And off to Powell. Powell jumps ahead and gets about five, making five even. Second down and five. And we have an injury on the field. Second down and five. Wattick back to pass, throws, complete, got an opening, good yardage. Pat Newmeyer, the receiver. Good crowd on hand today on both sides of the field. An important matchup. Lodick hands off to uh, Paul. Paul got nowhere. Maybe back to the line of scrimmage. That's about all. The new turn Trevians. Have gotten statewide as far as second in state. Well, McGarth actually won state back in the 70s. Been pretty lean since then. Pass is complete by Newmeyer on the reception. Nice job. In traffic, nice job by Loddick finding the band in all that traffic. And a nice Matt Loddick carrying the ball out a little bit. Looks like this secondary of uh, Glenbrook North is not as strong as I thought. Flag. Timeout, official timeout. Ah, uh, something got thrown out on the field. I don't know where that came from, but that came from the new chair side of the Glenbrook North side. Somebody threw something out on the field here. Little uh, rubber football. First and 10 from the Trevians at the Glenbrook North 45 yard line. Trevians already lead seven nothing. Lottick, hand off to Powell and Paul didn't even get back to the line of scrimmage. Lost a yard or two. Lost two. Second and 12. Ah, uh, George Martin's here tonight. Second down 12. Lonick will work out of the shotgun. Second and 12. 
Low snap. Lodick picks it up. Scrambles out of the way. Pass is complete to Teton. Great job by Lodick. Composure there. Rolling to the right. The handoff to Gary. Gary dives ahead. And picked up about uh, three, second and seven. Second down seven. Neutral Trevians. On the move again. Already leading seven nothing. Over the Glenbrook North Spartans. The handoff to Mark Powell. Powell finds a big hole. Bus free. Gets down to about the 15-yard line before he's tripped up. One last run and just on the shoot tops. Somebody got a hold of him there. And the truck is another first down. Inside the 15, uh, down to the 14-yard line. At the 14-yard line. Lottick back to pass. Throws, incomplete. Intended for Blake McLeod over on that far side. Third down, nine yards to go. Matt Lottick. Now Powell shifts over here to the near side. Powell and McLeod in the backfield. Lottick back to pass. Looks, throws, complete, out of bounds. Mark Powell, the receiver, at the three-yard line. First and goal to go at the three. Lottick, fakes it. Oh, my, Teton all along. Touchdown, New Trier. 6-1, 200-pounder with the reception. The kick is up, and it is good. And the Trevians lead. My guess is they'll kick it over towards Velociris now. Instead of Brandt, following Brandt's uh, big return there. They do the kick it short, though. To the outside. And Spellman missed the tackle, finally brought down at about the 46-yard line, so they saved about two yards. Helgis, the quarterback. Mike Helgis, the quarterback for Glenbrook North. Double shares in motion. The pitch over to Brant. Brant turns the corner, slips one tackle, but down to the, uh, only picked up about two. Second and eight. Ball's on the 48-yard line of Lumber Court. Second and eight. Big hole, bounces free. Uh-oh, Brent's off to the races. 20, 10, breaks away, touchdown. The extra point, the kick is up, and it is good. They kick away. And 
the reverse over to Teton. Teton gets a couple of yards and up to about the 34 yard line. The on the reverse. And Bobby Teton gets up to about the 34 yard line. Ball's on their own 24 yard line. Trevians will start from the 34. No, he was right, the 24. I thought I read it wrong. I thought he goofed it up. And off to Mark Paul. And Paul maybe picked up a yard. Yeah, about a yard. Second and nine. Brought down by Martin Hedge. Game one of the plays. Second down, Brian Ball. Second and nine. Five yard line. step back, pass, throw, incomplete, intercepted. So, Glenn McNorth, an opportunity to get right back into this ball game. And goes in motion to the far side. And off to Brandt. Brandt looking for an opening. Never found it. He stopped by Morgan Bates. Hand off to Brandt. And again, got nowhere. Third and 11. Brandt back to pass. He throws. All open. Down he goes. Belisarius at the 11. Good, but... Trevian's going to look like they were trying to call a timeout here. And uh, Grant tries to go to the outside, got nowhere. The Trevian's leading it. 14-7, and we'll be back with more. The first play of the second quarter. And nope, ran out of time. And... Blake McLeod forced him out. Third down, 11 yards to go. There's the pitch back. And nowhere to go. Fourth and nine. The kick is up and it is good. And it is a 14-10 ball game. And the kick away. Taken by Tommy Geary, 20, 30, finds the seam, punt, bounces free, 40, 50, and into Glenbrook North Territory. Great field position, a great run by Tommy Geary. On the 37-yard line of Glenbrook North, great field position for the Trebs. Lodick back to pass. Lodick looks, throws long. Complete to Bobby Teton at the 9-yard, nine 9-10 nine, yard line. At the 9-yard line. Pitch back to Powell. Powell hit hard at about the 7-yard line, 6-yard line. And make it the seven. Pick up of about two by Paul. Good pursuit along the line by Glenbrook North. Duda right out and in comes Dan Weiner again. Second and goal to go from the eight. And off to Geary. 
Gary pulled down after a gain of about two also. The snap, the kick is up, and it is good. And we're ready for the kickoff following the field goal. Little squibber. Almost an onside kick. Nowhere to go. Well, guess what, quarterback? Hand off. Nope. Morgan Baker. And an injury down on the field. One of the Trevians down. Except for one play, the Trevians been able to contain the threat of Sean Brandt, the running back for the Spartans out to pass. Oh my. Got behind. Ryan Spellman and uh, Mark Powell. And Belisarius in for the touchdown. The snap, the kick is up, and it is good. Gary and Spellman deep for the Trevians. I don't know if it was necessarily the missed coverage as much as uh, I think part of that is the size for us. Uh, Powell and Spellman are not very tall. Geary gets back to about the 29 yard line. Tommy Geary's had a very nice run on a kickoff return. Hand off to Powell, or hand off to Geary rather. And Gary got nowhere. Make a Blake Mc. No, it is Gary. Well, he picked up about one or two. Tommy Gary did. Lodick back to pass. Looks. Oh no. Teton was open. Just couldn't hold on. Third down and nine for the Trevs. And up, big hole, busting ahead, first down. Mark Powell, the ball carrier. Lodic dropped back again to pass. Throws, incomplete. Again through the hands of Bobby Teton. Lodick back to pass. Lodick throws, then gets hit. It passes incomplete. In and out of the hands of Newmeyer. Second place in state in every sports season. Delay a game against Nutria here. Every sports season since 1941-42. They have won at least one state trophy. They also hold the record for both most trophies and most state championships in Illinois. Lottick, a little flare over here to the near side to Powell. Good job by the Glenbrook North defense. And first and 10. And Chris Belisarius are deep. High snap. Gary kicks it away. And let it go. Close. Boy, he 
He shouldn't have made an effort at that one. 30. First and 10. Here will begin their conference play next week with Gladbrook South and Niles West, Evanston, Waukegan, and Maine South in that order. The Waukegan game, the Trevian homecoming inside handoff. Not much there. Tied at 17. Nutra and Glumbrook North. Nutra on the road next week. Back to pass. The chase on the pass. Complete. Breaks the tackle. The pass is complete. And Velocerus has it at the... Elgis as the Spartans on the move again. And off to Brant. Brant cuts to the outside. Brought down by Gary with a little help and just a little help from both McLeod and Teton. Trevians in the central suburban south. This year the realignment. Uh, Brant got nowhere. Actually lost a yard or two. Kruger brought him down. Little razzle dazzle attempt. Didn't work. And Tom Duda brought him down. The snap. The kick. And out of bounds at the 22 yard line. The handoff. Mark Powell slides forward to about the 25. It's about three. Lodic will work out of the shotgun. Low snap again, Lodic. Near side, through the hands. Incomplete intended for Paul. It was intended for Mark Powell. AT&T Cable Services, Channel 19. Stick around for the soccer game following this. Lodick didn't know what to do with it on the bad snap. Tried to get back to the line of scrimmage, and that was just about all he got. Fourth down. And Tommy Gary. High snap. Gary has it. The kick away. Nice kick. Again, going to take a favorable Trevian bounce to the 39-yard line of Glenbrook North, and that's where the Spartans will take over. And up. Uh, nowhere. Grant the ball carrier. Roosevelt, Lumbrook South, and Waukegan, none of them exactly known for their football prowess, team-wise. Quarterback keeper, and picked up about two or three. Uh, whether you're an optimist or a pessimist. Back to pass, no. Grant on the draw play. Grant finds an opening, now dodges around a little bit, picks up some good yardage down to the Trevian 40-yard line. Winding down the first half. Look, it's back to pass. Jordan Kruger nearly had him. Now still looking for somewhere to go. And nobody open and out of bounds. Maybe back to the line of scrimmage. It's... Fumble, loose ball. Man chase there, I think Glenbrook North. Still at it, they're gonna go with the hurry up offense. 
down by Hilgis. Down the ball. Stop. And Glenbrook North still going to try and go for it here. Tied at 17. Winding down the fourth quarter. Back to pass. Now throws. And it is complete to Brandt for the first down. And down. Vegas downs the ball. Second down, 10. Second and 10. 10 seconds remaining. Back to pass. Looks to the corner. Throws that way. Intercepted by Matt Waddick. And he steps out of bounds. Intended for Brandt over on that side. Deep in their own territory. Might go for one long bomb here. No, just a handoff. Mark to Mark Powell. And that will finish. And we're set for the second half to begin. Tied up as we are as the second half starts. Trevians with a little squib kick. Taken at the 20 by Valaceres. Goes to the far side. Only got to the 24. Looking for some blocking in front of him. Never found it. It has cooled off a little bit. And once more, the condensation, the dew beginning to form a little bit. Brandt, the ball carrier, stopped by Morgan Baker. Sean Brandt, the ball carrier, didn't get anywhere. Big crowd on hand. Hand off. And picked up a couple of yards, not much. Third and three for the Spartans, the Trevians. And Spartans tied at 17. Brant finds a hole, gets the first down, and, and up to about the 41, 42 yard line. Driving to a lot of height. Brant the ball carrier. Brant the ball carrier didn't get anywhere. Option play. Flag goes down. I think that's holding. Certainly is in that general range there. Let's see. Now first and long. Man in motion to the near side. Now the sweep to the near side. Overcomes Powell. But it was Morgan Baker who came in there and finished it off. And Baker comes up hobbling a little bit. Third down, 15 yards to go for the Lubbock North Spartans back at the round 37, 38 yard line. And a flag goes and delay a game against Glenbrook North, I believe. Back to pass. They're running out of time, and he'll be forced out of bounds by Blake McLeod, finally. The kick away. Gary. And finally wrestled to the ground. Matt Loddick in at quarterback. Back to pass. Wheels to the near side, throws. Pass is incomplete. Again, in and out of the hands of uh, Bobby Teton. Hand off. And Blake McLeod. 
picks up. Lodic back to pass. Lodic looks, throws, and oh, just a little bit over left. Pass antenna for Newmeyer. Third quarter. There's the pass to the near side and incomplete. And I think the neutral Trubians wanted a pass interference there. McNorth takes over on downs, much to the protest of both both Coach Mortier and the neutral faithful at the Glenbrook North 48-yard line. Hand off to Brant. And he dodges inside to pick up a couple. I don't think Glenbrook has even made the playoffs since 1980. Something like that. It's been a while. And Brant's got nowhere to go. The hole never showed up there. Suburban North, the weakest conference perhaps in state at that level. Uh, five and four and five. He's fourth down and one. Well, don't you know that's the sound of the men working on the chain game. That's the sounds of the men working on the chain game. And a short by a yard. Fourth and big play for the Spartans. W's need a big defense here. Uh oh. Now he will have moved his hand. 77 moved his hand. That's an illegal procedure. But in the meantime, we have a fourth down now and six following the illegal procedure call. The snap, the kick, and it is a shanker. It's gonna go out of bounds at about the 47th yard line. At the 48 yard line of the Trevians. Get, catch a break here. Relatively good field position at the 48-yard line, their own. Roddick hands off to Powell. Powell spins away and gets good yardage up to the Glenbrook North 45-yard line. Trevians, second down. Three yards to go. Roddick. Dropped over to uh, Weiner with the pass, and the pass complete. First down. Down to the 34-yard line of on the Trevians. First and 10 on the 33. Lotta carrying it out a little bit. Back to pass again. Looks, throws to the near side. Complete, Teton. Touchdown, Dutrier. Bobby Teton. With all kinds of time. And with that uh, Division I arm of his, found the man. Ball bounces down to the seven yard line. And gets himself up to about that. Uh, about, uh, about the 19, I think. Yeah, about the 18 yard line. Well, the Trevians have regained the lead here. Gave it up uh, about midway through the second quarter. Flag goes down. They got first down 20, that's right. First play. First and 20. Hello. First come in, plays. 
First and 20. Drop back to pass. In trouble, throws, incomplete. A little bit. First, first in Will County. Pitch back to Brent. Got up to about the five yard line. Morgan Baker on the tackle. Lebrook North in all kinds of trouble now. Trevians have figured out the offense here. Couple of yards. Yeah, picked up maybe seven. Brought down by Mark Powell. And the ball has gotten a little slippery, although the running backs appear to have been able to hold on. The pass receivers have not. On a harm's way, throws a long one. Incomplete, knocked away by Bobby Teton. Fourth. Last time it was a shanker. And the Charvians marched on in for the touchdown. Here's a kick, the kick away. Not a very good one. Gary picks it up at the 47 yard line, picks up about five. And that's it. The handoff goes to Powell. And Powell drives ahead. Lubbrook South, soccer action, big game. The Trevians against the defending state champions, Naperville North. Powell gets the first down. Down to about the 30-yard line. Weiner goes in motion to the far side. Lodick drops back to pass. Throws. Incomplete. Lodick pass is incomplete. Lodick hands off inside. Mark Powell, the ball carrier. Picks up about uh, one. Third and nine. Lodick fakes the, they can now back the pass, throws, nearly intercepted, incomplete, fourth down. Looks like. And now Newt are gonna take a timeout and rethink this. All right. Lodick drops back to pass, Lodick looks, throws to the corner, touchdown Newt Bobby Teton in the corner. The snap, the kick is up and no good. Well, a fourth and nine situation. 19 seconds left to play here in the third quarter. Lodic drops back, has the time from the 40-yard line. Now that's... Uh, Let's see, about 43 yard pass by Lodick. Right on the money to Bobby Teton. Seconds left to go here in the quarter. Velasquez looking for some help. Newmeyer overran him. Tommy Gary brought him down. Following the kickoff, he'll be on, on defense. Trevians need a little height. Brandt tries to go to the outside. And well after the play there. Big run, cross midfield into Nutrier territory down to the 48 yard line. Hand off to Brandt. Brandt tries to go ahead a little bit, picks up maybe another three yards.
There's the late hand off to Brandt. Brandt finds an opening. Nice job. Goes to the outside, and he busts one wide. Down into inside the 20 to the 19, first and 10. Uh, rather, Spartans first and 10 on the Trevians 19. Lubbock North Spartans. And Brandt got nowhere. Maybe he got back to the line of scrimmage. Looks like he lost a yard. The handoff to Brandt. And he got nowhere again. Third. Back to pass. Lux throws to the side. Overthrown. Incomplete. Belisarius, uh, Helgis tried to find uh, Belisarius and overthrew him. Bobby Teton in there on the coverage. Pitch. Now the flare, the pass, wide open. Avoids the tackle, touchdown. Lodick missed the tackle. And Helgis point after the snap the kick is up and it is good 30 games getting close again 30 24 we were 17 17 at halftime there's the kick taken and dropped by Ryan Spellman Spellman right at the 25 and that is it got nowhere athletic as one split wide over here to the near side. There's a handoff to Tommy Geary. Geary busts to the outside, gets a first down, 40, 45, and right about midfield. He's finally wrestled to the ground. We'll call it uh, just a little bit inside the Glenbrook North territory. Sets. Now the handoff to Mark Paul. Paul gets about uh, three yards. And brings up a second down and seven. Has thrown three passes for touchdowns today. All of them to Bobby Teton. Paul the ball carrier picked up another three. Third down and four. Trevians play Glenbrook South next week. So we get the Glenbrooks back to back. Now the handoff. Gary gets the first down, rumbles inside the 40 yard line down to about the 32. A handoff to Gary. Gary nearly busted that one. Got inside the 30 to the 24. 24 yard line. Whoops. Looks like that's offside. I think they're saying that there was movement. And off to Geary. Geary goes to the outside. Busted one tackle. And second effort gets a first down. Great job by Tom Geary. Goal to go for the Trevians. At the nine. Fumble. And McLeod on it. Newmeyer to the near side, handoff to Geary. And he picked up about two. Here in the central south, there's a pass. And Lodic uh, got cream. Fourth down. Go Lynch, the kick is up. And just barely, but it's good. Left to play, a lot of time. 
still left in this one. Line drive short at the 30. Ryan Spellman will set. No, that wasn't Spellman set line. In any case, Elgus takes over. Elgus back to pass. Looking, throws to the near side, complete, and out of bounds. Just inside Nutrier territory. The football game. Elegance again back to pass. Runs to the side, tries to throw it incomplete. Knocked down by Morgan Baker, 49 yard line. Again, back to passes, Heligus. He looks, looks, looks. Now let's lose a long bomb, and it is intercepted. Mark Powell with the interception for the Trevians, who lead by nine points. There's the handoff, and Trevian's going to work this one out on the ground a little bit. Wattick hands off to Geary. Geary didn't even get back to the line of scrimmage. Back to third down and 10. Big haul. Geary rumbles ahead. Will not get the first down, though. Try and maybe long count him here. See if he can get him to jump. Oh, close. No. Didn't get him to go. So instead, the Trevians call a timeout. And we'll go for the punt. And Lumber North gonna have some pretty good time here. And it takes a favorable Trevian bounce to the 40-yard line of Glenbrook North. And from their own 40, that's where the Spartans will take over. The snap, Illigus works out of the sh shotgun. Comes to the near side and goes out of bounds. I don't think he got he got maybe back to the line of scrimmage. And Peter Naughton. Second and ten. Again out of the shotgun. He snapped a quick double the drop pass and Velasaris. Complete and the the ref. Got hurt there. Gain of four. And six. Back to pass. Short pass is complete for the first down. And out of bounds. Trevi just done a great job in keeping Brant down. The only one real big play. There's a long pass. Caught. No, incomplete. Intended for Valaceris. And moisture on the ball. Try again and intercepted by Bobby Teton. Another turnover and another key interception. By First and 10 for the Trevians at the 12. And I'm sure the Trevians will try and keep this on the ground the rest of the way. Geary. And he charges ahead to about the 17-yard line. Second down and five yards to go. Second and five for the Trebs. The handoff to Gary. And he picks up about another yard. The pitch back, whoops, Geary lost it, and down he goes. With a loss. Tom Geary will kick it away. The snap, the kick. It's at the 40. And Skirving alertly as he sees it start bouncing the other way. Flag on the play. I don't know. Is it a legal procedure? 
It is a legal procedure. Let's see if we can shot got the quick pass to the far side. Velasquez gets down to the 20 two yard line. Winded this one down. Back to pass again. Hell, I guess he's in trouble. He'll roll out of harm's way. He'll come to the corner and steps out of bounds. And McLeod got cream. In this situation, it'll be pretty difficult to have that. Pass is incomplete. Intended for Sean Brandt. Sending everybody. Back to pass. In trouble, throws to the near side. The pass is complete. They say it is complete, down to the three. Intentionally down. They stop the clock, but it's too late. And the final score, the Dutrayer Trevians. Winning it, 33-24. And both teams now with a record of three and one.